Hello, this video is on how to check your front differential vent tube to see if it's plugged or not plugged. And you certainly want to make sure it is not plugged. And uh, one of the symptoms of a plug vent line is even after you replace the seals, the oil seals for the axles, it still leaks. Well, I have changed my axle seals and my vent is not leaking and I'm convinced it's just a terrible design for the axle seals. If you've ever seen one for a Chev half ton truck for the front end differential, you'll know what I mean. It's almost like it's a bearing where there's an outer part of a seal that sticks to the outer ray, outer mating surface of the uh, axle or the differential housing. And then there's an inner race of the seal that sticks to the axle and spins with it. And the actual sealing surface in the, is in the middle of the seal. Anyway, it's very hard to describe, but if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And it's just, I can't imagine why that's a good idea. But anyway, somebody must think that it is. And these brand new seals leak just like, just no better than the ones that I changed with 160,000 kilometers on them. Anyway, so that prompted me to check my vent tube and it is still uh, open and um, flowing freely. So that wasn't my problem. It's just crappy seal design. So here we are. Uh, if I should give you a kind of an, you know, coming in from under the front bumper, uh, in front of the driver's side wheel, um, there's the differential. And the top of the screen in the center is the fill plug. In the uh, center of the screen right now is the drain plug. Now I'm going to zoom out and go over the control arm closer to the rear wheel. And you can see in the center of the screen, there's a hose that comes down. That is the vent hose or vent line. And it connects to the vent, well, fitting, I guess. Looks like it's replaceable. It looks like it threads in there. Unlike the rear one, which is a metal one that's just pounded in, I guess, at the factory. So what I did to check it was I, un I pulled that vent tube off. And then with an air compressor, I forced air up the hose. And I could hear it freely uh, exiting the hose, you know, up near the battery or somewhere like that. So I know that end wasn't plugged. And then to uh, check to make sure that you know, the actual little plastic fitting that's on the differential isn't plugged. You can do one of two ways. You can pull out the drain, I'm sorry, pull out the fill plug and inject air into that uh, vent tube. And if you hear it coming out the fill plug, you know that it's not plugged. What I did is I left all the drain and the fill plugs in place and just not got carried away or anything, but just injected a little bit of air into that fitting to basically, I guess it pressurized the whole differential. I would just do it for maybe half a second or maybe a second and then move the uh, the air nozzle away from the fitting and when the air blew back at my hand well I could tell the air was going in and was blowing back out you really don't want to use very much air pressure at all I don't know 20 30 psi and you're definitely not going to hold the air compressor uh, air nozzle on there to pressurize the differential to that full air pressure you don't want to do that um, that's that may be higher than the seals but doing what I did, you, there wouldn't be any problem there. Just, just be careful and don't hold it there very long. So that's how you prove that your vent line is not obstructed. And then you reattach your rubber vent line on the nozzle or on the uh, little fitting on your differential and you're good to go.